And I'm Mario from uh, PI4 uh, in Italy. And I'm going to show you uh, the other services. Actually, this is a presentation that uh, shows all the services we deployed in the context of the NADR project. Many of these services was uh, shown by Roberto in, uh, in his presentation about uh, the Sagaya project because it was inherited from this, uh, this project. This is the agenda of this uh, presentation. And uh, we will see actually w which are the uh, NADRI service uh, enabler enablers. We deployed uh, for NADRE a repository that is the core component of this uh, project. Then we heard uh, mon uh, many times uh, uh, this morning about the agenda. It is a um, software to manage uh, conference like this. We deployed also a um, discussion forum based on discourse technology. We will see more in details this technology during this presentation. Then we deployed also a um, wiki based on MediaWiki. And last, a platform for MOOCs for massive online open courses based on Open edX. This is, these are the uh, NADRE service enablers. So as I mentioned, here are the, uh, you can see the technology behind each services we, we will see tomorrow and we will use tomorrow. And uh, let me start from uh, the repository. This is the link uh, at which you can find uh, the, the repository. Uh, tomorrow we will use this uh, um, repository to, to do some hands-on with, uh, with you. So the technology behind the repository is based on Invenio. Invenio is an open source digital library framework uh, enabling you to run your own digital repository on the web. It is open source and uh, you can find the source code uh, on the GitHub uh, repository. The feature of uh, um, Invenio are ma um, Invenio has many features, and uh, for example, it covers all the aspects of digital library management. So, it c it allows you mm, to cover all the aspect of manage uh, a, a digital lab library, from the document ingestion through the classification, the curation of the documents, not only documents but all uh, also data. This is really important. Another important feature of Invenio is uh, it is compliant with uh, um, the Open Archive Initiative Metadata Harvesting Protocol, the so-called OIE PMH uh, standard. And it also compliant with the Mark 21 uh, standard that is uh, um, actually a bibliographic standard used uh, all over the world. In Invenio, the documents are uh, organized in collection and uh, sub-collection. We already created uh, the collection where your document, uh, your, your data will be stored. And we can also provide you many other sub-collection for your institution. Another important feature of Invenio is that it has a powerful uh, search engine. This means that uh, the index uh, um, of the documents, of the data, of the object stored in the repository are um, especially designed to provide um, speed when you look for something in the repository. It provides also the REST API that Roberto mentioned before. These uh, are uh, application programming interface uh, that you can use in your own application to deploy to develop, for example, a nicer interface uh, for uh, the repository, or, for example, to upload, to automatically up upload the data, the data stored on your, uh, your own repository directly on another, on another one. Okay. In this slide are collected many other uh, features that uh, make Invenio the um, choice to implement uh, the digital repository. 
As I told you before, it is open, it is open source, so you can uh, look at the software, you can customize, you can also contribute to the uh, develop, uh, development of Inveni. It is uh, distributed under an open license. It is deployable on a local infrastructure, so you don't need uh, an hosted service. You can deploy an instance of Invenio on uh, your in institution, for example, if you would like to provide a um, digital library for, for your institution. It is uh, um, support many records. Here are actually up to 10 to 7 records. And it, it is fully compliant with the most, all, all the, all with all the most important uh, standard in uh, the digital library environment. Many uh, repository uh, developed in uh, deployed in uh, many countries on uh, the world are based on Invenio. Here we have some example for example, in um, in Africa for Benin, Burkina Faso, and uh, and so on. In this slide, you will find uh, many references. You can uh, look at them to uh, know more about uh, Invenio and to know more about the difference as a sample uh, between Invenio and uh, this space, because I, I heard that this space is uh, one of the um, software, one of the framework mostly used uh, in, uh, in Africa to develop um, digital repository. And uh, this is uh, the um, home page of another digital uh, repository. The other services, other services we deploy is uh, uh, the agenda. It is uh, a web-based. Uh, is based on oh, sorry, is based on Indigo software, and Indigo is uh, an event organization platform that allows you to organize uh, events from simplest lectures to most complex uh, conference. It is also an open source uh, um, software. You can find the uh, source code at the link highlighted in the slide. And uh, you can uh, um, see in Indico as an archive for event of event metadata and related documents because you can use uh, Indico to store all the documents, all the material related to a conference, to uh, uh, the event you are going to uh, to do. And uh, it was an, um, started as an European project uh, from uh, 2002 and 2004, and actually it is deployed on many institutions around the world. As I told you, it managed the whole conference life cycle. So you can use Indico to uh, manage uh, the website of a conference. You can use uh, Indico to uh, manage uh, the, the program, the, the conference program, to, the, to define the call for abstract and also the abstract selection and uh, um, reviewing, referring. It also uses it to, to create uh, the timetable of the event. As uh, you can use it to store the, all the material related to the event you are going to uh, to do with, it, with Indico. It can use uh, to manage, sorry, the attendant registration, the payments, the badging uh, of the uh, participants at the conference, and so on. If you would like to know more about uh, uh, the Indico software, I add uh, at the bottom of this slide some uh, useful links that you can visit to know more uh, about Indico and to know how to uh, use Indigo in, uh, actually. This is the interface, uh, the home page of Indico, and uh, it uh, organize, uh, uh, it is organized, uh, organized in uh, categories. And here we have the category we created on uh, on Indico to manage the event under the on, under each categories. The other services we deployed for uh, Nadre is the discussion forum. This is also an important uh, service because you can use it uh, to um, ask for support to uh, share your knowledge with other uh, partner of the other of the, the project. 
The discussion forum is based on discourse, and discourse is a um, discussion platform that you can use uh, as a mailing list, uh, you can use a, as a long chat forum, and, and more. It is also open source, and uh, here you can find the uh, source code at the GitHub repository. And uh, the slogan that uh, uh, this course uh, state is uh, that is a civilized discussion pl platform. Civilized because uh, um, this course encourages the um, good behaviors of uh, its uh, participants using a mechanism based on badge on feedback to the user of the, the platform. And it also uh, allows to the most engage, engaged uh, members to assist the um, administrators in the management of the discussion forum. This course provides many features, many modern features that uh, any of you uh, can expect from uh, a discussion uh, platform. It, sorry, it uh, organizes uh, uh, the conversation they organize uh, the discussion in conversation, not in page. So you can have uh, a very long dis discussion all in the same page that you can scroll down and load the content uh, as, uh, as needed. It provides also a dynamic notification method based on using the hat and the username of the user you would like to notify about a new post, for example. And at the same time, when you use this uh, um, format, an email will be informed the uh, user that a new post we is uh, going is created, and in this post, uh, this user was, men was mentioned. This course allows you to uh, reply to the discussion to the post uh, wherever you are online, so you can uh, reply on uh, the discuss platform, the discussion forum platform directly, or you can also uh, reply to the post via my via email. Another important feature that I forgot to mention uh, for all the services I showed before is a single sign-on. As Roberto shown in, uh, in his presentation, his previous presentation, all the service uh, um, deployed for NADRE is, uh, allows single sign-on. So you, with the same set of credentials, you can uh, access each services. So you just need one username and password to, to access all the services in uh, the context of another project. And uh, to know more about this course, you can visit uh, uh, its official link that is highlighted here. This is uh, how the discussion forums looks, looks like actually, and hopefully in uh, the next time this will be uh, full of your new uh, question, your new discussion in, uh, in it, on it. Then we deployed also uh, the uh, wiki, the another wiki, you can find at this link. And uh, the software uh, on which the um, another wiki is based is uh, MediaWiki, that is one of the most common uh, platform for to, uh, de to develop um, wiki. And it is also free and open source. It is mm, written in PHP language. So you can, in um, the same way for the other services, you can uh, develop, you can customize the code. You can also contribute to the mm, software with your new development. MediaWiki is a collect collaborative uh, platform which can be used uh, directly to edit uh, its content uh, from the uh, user uh, able to access it. And uh, it, is, uh, um, it is used uh, by many uh, wiki uh, platform uh, on the web. For example, is the base of uh, Wikipedia. As I told you, it is highly customizable because it is uh, written in PHP, so you can uh, uh, customize uh, the interface, you can customize the code uh, based on your needs. It is also powerful and extremely scalable. You can just uh, think on uh, Wikipedia that is based on, uh, on it, and you can imagine the uh, level of scalability of this software. And 
to know more about uh, MediaWiki, as the same we did with, uh, for the other services, I put here the official uh, documentation of the, the software. This is how the uh, interface looks like. And last but not least is uh, the platform for MOOCs, Massive Online Open Source uh, Courses, Open Course. It is based on OpenEdX. OpenEdX is a course management system originally developed by uh, edX and it is also supported by many um, companies. Also Google support uh, devel the develop of OpenEdX. It is used in uh, many countries to um, issue uh, MOOCs, but also to uh, issue simple uh, lectures. It consists of several modules, and uh, the most important two are highlighted here, that are the OpenEx, the OpenEdX uh, Studio, also known as uh, CMS, that allows you to build course, to manage uh, uh, all the uh, aspect of uh, an online course from the material to the lectures, uh, the exercise, the assignment, uh, the revision of assignments and so on. The other important module of uh, um, OpenEdX is uh, the, open ed open ed the OpenEdX Len Learning Management System also known as L LMS that is used by the learner to access uh, the course, the online courses. The OpenEdX supports many roles, so you can use uh, uh, the credential provided, uh, you can use the federated, the federated credential to access uh, this uh, platform, and you, um, as soon as you are logged in, you can ask, for example, for course creator roles. So the manager uh, of uh, OpenEdX platform um, inspects your uh, request and can give you the rights to create a new course on, uh, on the platform. It allows you to uh, also to report uh, the progress of the students, the level of education, and, and so on. And as I told you, the CMS uh, module is uh, the, the most important one because it's uh, demanded to uh, build, to actually build the, the course. And this is, this is how the uh, platform for MOOCs uh, looks. And as you can see here, we, have, we already have um, a course. And um, this course was uh, developed in the context of the uh, e-research Hackfest uh, we held in Lagos by uh, an Ethiopian uh, guy that uh, create, created the machine, work on the machine, and created the first course on, uh, on, this, uh, on the OpenEdX platform. <laughs>